and welcome back to webdesigner-resource.com video series that's webdesigner-resource.com today we're going to look at making nice looking tables now from time to time we all need to use tables to display data and we're going to show you how to make those a little better looking and a little easier to manipulate using a plugin so let's go down to plugins add new and we're going to search for a plugin called web simon it's actually called Web Simon Tables, and there it is, comes up. Now, I've already installed it, so it's ready to go. Now, in order to create the tables, what we're going to come down here is come under Tools, and you'll see a new entry called Web Simon Tables. Now, the first thing you do to create a table is you're going to give the table a name. We're going to call this test table and the number of rows and columns and we're going to have it be um, three rows by two columns and we're going to go ahead and add that table as you can see here's my test table and there's a short code for me to use but first let's come in here and start editing some data so unlike regular tables that you might create in the actual post or page editor these you can actually manipulate all through the web assignment table control area so the first thing you're going to do is give it a headline if you want to in this case we're going to just go with name and over here we're going to put title so we're just going to throw in the members of our staff here So now we have everybody added into our table. We're going to go with the title. There we go. Now as you can see, I've entered our names and our titles, but now I'm going to go ahead and save this content. But how? what happens if, say, I accidentally entered the wrong entry? Now, what we can do is we can come over here and go to row 3, and we can just move that up. Now, as you can see, we've moved the row up, and we can move it back down. Not only that, but we can also take a column and we can move the column over. So I want title first, which I don't really. So I'm going to take title, column two and move it over. Now, as you can see, there's a sample what it's going to look like right down here. Let's go ahead and save this content. I want to come up here to the edit table structure and style. Now there's a lot of different variables here that you can change. Really, it's going to be up to you personally and how you want it to look. But they do have different skins you can use. This is to show you. We're going to switch to light blue. I'm going to hit save. And as you can see down here by the preview, now it's changed to a nice alternating light blue color. We can go with coffee. Or you can go green and warm so let's go with green and warm we've already saved the table settings we've saved the content let's just go ahead and copy the short code we're going to come to our post I'm going to edit our hello world again and hit enter and just paste in that short code I'm going to update and now we're going to view the post and as you can see we have our text up here and where we put the shortcut shortcode we now have 
a nice beautiful looking table and you can experiment more with it there are a lot of different options in there and you can even create your own custom uh, skins but for now that should give you a good intro into web assignment tables and uh, this is webdesigner-resource.com we hope to see you again next time